Hey, this is Teresa from Life App, and right now I am on the street of our most recent Live Love Well project. And what is a Live Love Well project? A Live Love Well project is when a community identifies a need or a challenge of an individual or family, and we step in and we say, we together can make a difference. So I went from this happy-go-lucky girl to a girl who beat cancer to a girl who now has to live with it for the rest of her life. And so I got depressed. And then I woke up one morning and I was like, this is it, we're gonna do this. And I moved out a week later to an island by myself. Life was life again. I was working in a bakery, so I spent my summer on the beach and in the bakery and doing everything that I love to do. I got engaged that summer, and so it was a life-changing summer for me. And then it came back again. It's something that I live with. It's something that my husband lives with, and my parents, and my brothers, and it's not always easy. So in 2018, I woke up one day and I had a shower, and I got immense amounts of pain where I had to lay on my bed wet and I couldn't get up. So I called my mom and I ended up in the hospital again. And they went, here's some Advil, go home, we were fine. So I went home and four days later I went, I started to feel better, went to sit up and just immense amounts of pain again. And so back to the hospital where the, this doctor goes, oh, your neck is broken, you don't have a C1. Half your C2 is missing. What the hell are you standing? Like, you shouldn't be walking. Ken and Karina Weeb have been supporting their daughter's cancer journey for 10 years. Their house is in terrible disrepair. The plumbing pipes are leaking all over the place and we're gonna go in as a community and make a difference for this one family. We are gonna transform the Weeb family home. We're gonna take it from leaky plumbing pipes and wet drywall from a leaky back deck. We're gonna fix it up. We're gonna make a wheelchair accessible bathroom. We're gonna transform that house, but we cannot do that alone. I always love helping out. I always love helping out people in whatever situations they're in. There's something really amazing about us coming together as a community, even if we have never met each other, to give and receive that kind of love and grace. And you know, it's something that brings us together and makes us stronger as a whole. What inspires me to take part in this is the giving back, the giving back and seeing what a difference we're all making as a team to create a better life for a family that needs it. What has been the most fun part has been the feeling of the contribution. It's just seeing everybody coming here, showing up, doing things. I love being involved. I love staying involved. The most rewarding part of being part of a project like this is just being in the cycle of giving. I have received so much from so many people throughout my life. You know, we don't do life alone. And just playing a tiny part in someone else's life just makes me feel really good. The most fun and rewarding has just been able to support and be of contribution. And this sounds like a great opportunity, great idea and I wanted to help out. And it just it brings me joy. I mean a lot of new people a job like this, like I don't know anyone here. Most interesting thing I've seen here so far or most rewarding would be just seeing people pull together. Guys I call who've never heard of Life App, never heard of Sydney, never heard of any of this stuff. And I call them and they jump up and pitch in. And it's just really neat to see everybody pull together that way. Oh it's a lots of fun here. It's a lots of fun. Everybody is so nice people here who help out here. Yeah, and, and, and the trader here is so nice, including me. <laughs> that's, that's inspiration, you know, that's, especially, that's what I said before, and the helping the people. That's an inspiration, is a huge inspiration. Like, I know Don and Derek as well, like, Karina's brother and family, like, they're all family friends. Like, I've been in that house, and, like, how it is looking now, it's completely different, and 
I know it's just going to make such a big difference for that family. What motivates me to do stuff like this is I just look at it going, we're all in this thing together. Some of us have a lot better breaks than others and sometimes bad things happen to great people and so we pull together as a community and make things happen for them. It's something I like to do, I do it for a living and if I can help out someone in need, why, why not? Uh, when Teresa first called, we had a, a cancer scare in the uh, family. I heard about it and went, yeah, I'll be there. Because there's nothing I could do with my wife, so if I can help, I will, I will help. And then I noticed that we need an electrician, so I called my electrician and I've been happy to help and float wherever I need to help and float. Well, I came here because I read about the family and I don't even know them, but their story appealed to me and I know the work that we've done in the past has been so rewarding and uh, it's just nice to help somebody out. I've worked on the trades for 50 years. I, I am amazed because I've never experienced this in my 50 years of being in business. When you go to a job site and you find that you are one together, not apart, but you're doing a job to help our community. What a wonderful way to do this. I, I want to thank the community, how you have helped and made this place so wonderful. You have made a difference in our society. Nonprofit charity in Canada, and our goal is to live love well in the community. And this is the house that love built. Yeah. So, are we ready to see your house? Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's ready? go.
Thank you.